Hey Novi, have you ever wanted to learn about surgery or some other medical career? We're going to be exploring that and much more on this edition of the Cat's Eye News. Yeah. and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. What's up, Nova? Your boys' basketball team took on Berkeley last night and won 53-32. to They take on South Lyon at home on Friday. See you there, Wildcats. Two weeks ago, we went to the My Career Quest field trip along with 200 other Novi High School students at the Suburban Collection Showplace. There are four sections, but today we'll be exploring the Health and Science Department. This section explores careers in the health field. Let's go. So we're here at the uh, My Career Quest. It's an opportunity for students to check out all sorts of careers related to different areas. Uh, right now we're in the medical area. Uh, that's because of our red lanyard. That's where we started the day. Um, and throughout the rest of the afternoon, we're going to have opportunities to check out different areas. We've got companies, we've got schools, we've got different offices and organizations with professionals here to talk to kids about what they do. So how do you think this benefits students maybe beyond just job discovery? Is there anything else you think this offers our district? Sure. I think in one sense, it gives kids a, an understanding of what people do just as a matter of course of understanding the world even if it's not something that they want to pursue but also it gives them a sense of possibilities right like understanding I was just talking to a gentleman back there about all the different pathways to the same end result like there's not one way to do things anymore it used to be you went to school you got a degree in a certain area and you got a job in that area and you worked there for 30 years that is not how things happen anymore so that opportunity to understand those different pathways and talk to people who have lived it I think is really beneficial to all kids no matter what they my name is Amy. Amy, what's this station about? This looks really interesting. Um, so we are the master's program at Eastern Michigan um, for orthotics and prosthetics. And right now we are casting fingers to demonstrate the casting process because each limb has to be specifically made for um, the amputee. So what we do is we take this plaster bandage and we wrap it around the residual limb. And then from that we can make a plaster model that we can modify and turn into a test socket like this over here. Interesting. So what kind of students you think would be interested in a process like this? I think anybody that's looking to get into the medical field and doesn't want to be like the doctor or the nurse, the one that has to deal with the blood. I think prosthetics is a great way to get into that. Um, it's also really popular among engineering students that want to do more than sit at a computer because this is a very hands-on field. Uh, what's your name? Larry. Larry, what do we have here going on? So we have a wastewater treatment process. Uh, what we do is we treat wastewater, or another name for it is sewage. So we protect the environment, protect the lakes, protect the rivers. And the first, uh, I guess you could say, beaker here, that's sewage. So when you wash your hands or when you go to the bathroom, that's what it looks like. On your far right, that's our final product. It almost looks exactly like drinking water. It's pretty clear. What do we have going on here? I see a, can I touch this? Yeah. So it's a, I see a baby. Yep, yeah, a baby. So this is a CPR now. Basically lets you know if you're doing the compressions correctly. So it has all these lights on it. So if you're going too fast, it'll start flashing yellow. If you're not, if you're doing it completely wrong, it'll be red. Um, if it's just two green lights, that means you're doing good. You're just not going deep enough. So how does this extend beyond kind of this whole med career thing? Like, do you think this is a useful skill for anybody to have, regardless of whether it's like a med career? Yeah, I think everybody should know how to do CPR in case of an emergency. Like, if you have a younger sibling, I'm pretty sure you like to know how to do CPR, right? I would. So it is a really important skill for people to have regardless. Yep. Hand-eye coordination. We're working on leg stability. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a straight out pass from the chest. Have you ever seen basketball players? How they do a pass out like this? So all you be doing a very light pass, we're working on the hand-eye coordination, and obviously on the little half balls there so they get the stability work in the legs. What we do, we can go ahead and start. Whatever. Again, keep it, keep it low. Aim for the torso. It's very light touch. And the uh, reason we're doing it like this is just an example of how you can combine exercises. It's not really necessary to do it like this. This is just, you know, combining of them. What you might do normally is you have a ball against the wall and you're just bouncing it back to yourself for hand-eye coordination, but this is a good way to get people working together. Um, stability balls are great for patients who've had strokes or any kind of MBAs so they have a hip fracture and you get that repaired and they lose stability in the leg. But for this, again, it's just supposed to be lighthearted fun so people get an idea of what PTA is for. There you have it.
Ivan Novi. Stay tuned next week. Where we'll go over the second of the four sections, which is engineering and manufacturing. See you later, Novi. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Hey there, Wildcats. Thanks for watching today's episode. We'll be seeing you tomorrow for our next episode. But meanwhile, stay tuned, Wildcats. See you later.